It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I've got a bit of a confusing beer here from Sweden. Now, it's called Human Future. It's a Berliner Weiss with blackcurrant, licorice and vanilla. That sounds very, very good. It's 6.4% ABV in a 330 milliliter bottle. But I think the brewery's name is actually Almalet Alma Levin. Alma Levin. Because it says here, hello at almalevin.se. And then we have Elm 11 on the side of the bottle here. So, that's my take on it. We're not going to look at rape beer untapped. We're just going to kind of go with it. Black bottle cap on this one. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. You can almost see a purple. Look at the colour of that beer in the bottle. And look at the smoke on the bottle opening. Oh, look at the colour. Wow. Look at the colour on this beer. Unbelievable. So we got a two finger pink head. Good levels of carbonation, and the beer looks like a purple smoothie. That's the best way I can describe this beer. Purple smoothie with lovely levels of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. I want to say a massive thank you to Håkan in Sweden. Thank you very much, Håkan, for sending me this beer. Absolutely terrific. Uh, let's get the aroma then. My Goodness me, oh my goodness me, what do we have here? Wow, that is like full on, full on Berliner Weiss. Full on flavoured Berliner Weiss, my goodness me. Oh, you get a, a, a touch of the licorice, a touch of the vanilla. And then the black currant, it is, it's definitely black currant, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, black currant, licorice, vanilla. Loads of black currant. But you can almost smell the sourness. You can almost smell the sourness in there. You can almost smell the medium mouthfeel, the, the creamy, rich mouthfeel in the beer. Whether it's been brewed with lactose or oats, you get a sense of it, you get an aroma of it. Let's dive into this one. Cheers, everybody. Ho oh, ho ho! Oh, ho ho ho! Wow! Boom! Stone the crows! Stone the crows! What a fantastic, fantastic beer! Wow! Really good drinkability. Licorice, vanilla, blackcurrant galore. The sourness is like it's crumpled my face up like a like a bag of salt and vinegar crisps you know they're like oh they're, they're nice and sour you feel it right at the back of the palate wow stroking my pathetic excuse of a of a bit of stubble wow hawkan thank you very much this is a really really good beer Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. It does have a medium mouthfeel, it really does. But at the same time, it's still very, very drinkable. <coughs> still massively drinkable. Wow. Just, just, I'm almost struggling for words. I'm al almost standing here. <coughs> struggling for things to say about this beer. Because it is just so, so good. The black currant is, is pr the predominant flavour. The blackcurrant is definitely the predominant flavour here. 
and then you get little tickles of, of, of vanilla and you have little tickles of licorice and it's just lovely. It's a beautifully balanced beer between the black currants. It's like the licorice has a little push back against the black currants. And then the vanilla has its own little push back against the black currants. But everything's kind of working in in tune. Everything's working in as it's supposed to do. It's all in balance. It's all playing in the same orchestra. I always, well, not always, but sometimes use this kind of, you know, where the, the man with the stick is like, you over there do something, and you over there do something. <laughs> it, it's, it's like the beer's doing that. It's like, right, you're getting a little splash of carbonation, you're getting that kind of, the sourness, you're getting the fruit, you're getting the Berliner of ice of it, you're getting that slight kind of funky, kind of farmhousey flavor in there. Ah, oh, it's, it's, it's really, really good. A little bit of sweet malt in there. Sourness on the back end. Slight bitterness. Slight bitterness from the hops. So much going on. And have a look now. Look at the lacing on the glass. And have a look as I rock the beer back and forth. Look at that carbonation. Chasing that head up the glass. Absolutely wonderful. Look at that. What a wonderful looking beer. These, this brewery, I mean, I mean, there was a brewery in Sweden doing great things, absolutely great things up until recently, Omnipolo. But if you handed this, me, this beer to me three years ago and said, that's an Omnipolo, I'd grab it and go, whoa, yeah, that is definitely an Omnipolo beer. It is really, really good. On the polo are, are, are doing far different things now, and unless they're just taking this time setting up the new brewery and making sure you know getting things right, they seem to be having a few teething problems uh, with their with their plant because their beers of late have not been very good. But if on the polo are not brewing great beer anymore, there's always somebody in Sweden that, that that's willing to brew great beer, and and. Maybe this company is the one to go with. Um, Alm 11. They're based in Malmo in Sweden. This is human future and I'm ready to rate it. Lovely, lovely artwork on the bottle. Lovely look to the beer. Look at that beautiful beer. Lovely aroma. And a great smoothie sour type taste there with black currant and vanilla and licorice that is fabulous fabulous beer 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 stone the crows beer from real ale craft beer please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom cheers